Cat D6K2. It's dropping GPS uh, during the afternoon-ish. It doesn't matter if it's cold or warm. He's got the old update in there. Let's see what uh, 3DMC says. That's the new new 3DMC. Look at his sensor. I noticed the sensor doesn't have the right bolts in it and the sensor you can move it. I'm curious to see zero and just give it a little check I am gonna update the firmware and fix that sensor man I can't get it to zero come on holy cow all right right there Yeah, check this out. <laughs> that would cause some some issues. MC Square system dropping satellites, and uh, it's got the wrong bolts on the sensor, which are causing the sensor to uh, bounce up and down and cause issues. So we'll just take that out, put the, the right bolts in it. But I wanted to check, see how true this blade is, and it doesn't. Doesn't look too bad, I guess, as far as level. We'll throw the level on it and see if it's zero. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's actually like a 2.3, 2.4. Uh, so, wow, yeah, I mean, that's off quite a bit. And right now it's sitting flat, so that's interesting. We'll, we'll fix that for them. Then we'll figure out what the GPS issue is. Now they boogered it up a little bit, uh, those holes. It's aluminum. They used uh, these instead of these, which aren't even the same thread size. This is a little bit bigger. <laughs> so I'll see if I can't tap into it, rethread it. Yeah, so I secured that sensor. Um, that thing, uh, somebody put bolts in it uh, and threaded it all the way through, boogered up the, the thread in that aluminum housing so uh, just put the what's supposed to be there nice and secure I'm gonna put him on a flat down here just recalibrate his whole entire machine that blade is 2.4 percent off of zero um, yeah I can imagine uh, other things are bad too and then we'll get to the GPS we'll update the GPS and uh, I'm expecting I wiggled all those wires and everything while he was in there never went red so I'm expecting uh, probably GPS cable at the MCR3. Alright, so track and blade are relatively straight amongst themselves, right? We're going to check the main fall here. You can see how this kind of pivots up and down. You want to go as back as you, far as you can. Get the percentage. Make sure it's straight like the tracks. It's 0 0.3 on this side. Whoops, I forgot to tell if it was positive or negative. Just lift up on the end. If it goes to zero, that means the front end's falling. That's a negative 0 0.3. See what this other side is. Roughly about the same spot that you had the other one. This one's 0, 0.0. All right, so uh, 0, 0.0 plus 0 0.3 is how much? That's how much you enter in there. That's how much that, that main fall is. So 0, 0.0 plus negative 0 0.3 equals 0 0.3. Divide, whoops, I didn't hit equals. Divided by 2, let me do that over. 0, 0.0 plus 0 0.3 equals 0 0.3 divided by 2 equals 0 0.15. And that's a negative, and you see we're 0.4. So and it's positive, so negative 0 0.15 is the actual system main fault.
All right, so now we're at zero. We got our main fault correct. Uh, all good. Now we just have to check out the uh, GPS issue. So if you don't detect the GPS issue out on the front, which is just take the cables and just give them a good shove here and there, check this one out and see if your system, whoops, yep, save changes. Let's go in there and make sure they're saved. Yep, okay. All right, make sure your system stays green. I'll just jiggle this around, give it a good pull, yank, and wiggle everything. It's just a tiny little bit loose, but it's not bad. All right, so I'm gonna say, with no issues being found, no physical issues, that we have just a simple firmware issue here. But there's one thing we can check. Let's check their masking. Position on both sides of the blade should be relatively the same. See that? Because we're at zero, right? And that looks good. They have good masking on this. See how wide that is? They can actually come out a little bit more. I don't believe this one's adjustable. This one is not adjustable. All right, no problem. We'll update firmware. So let's just get out of here. Going to true. Device. Whoops, no, we don't want to do that. Device, firmware loading, connect. This is an MCR3, so it's gonna be network, and they don't have their main in here. So we'll have to add, add main. And then have to add an IP address. And All right, main is 192.168.1. .100. Auxiliary is 101. This is a MC square system, no auxiliary. TCP port 8002. Alright, so now it's in there. Make sure it's selected. Hit OK, it comes up, connect to it. And we're connected. It's one file. It's got the old 4.7D5. That's just the packet size. Go into your flash drive. Open up. It's going to be the main. And there it is, hit OK, hit Next, it's uploaded. All right, when you're done loading your GPS firmware, do not forget to go in and do a factory reset on it. Device, receiver managing, connect. It's the network, go into your main that you just added and connect to that. Factory reset. Done. Power down. Wait 10 seconds. Power back up. Strange that this had the uh, updated 3DMC, but not firmware. Not sure why you would only do one and not the other. Refactor.
factory reset, remember, so it could take a little bit of time. Actually jumping in pretty quick. might be a little bit high we'll have to check that we can help this out by doing a, another restart again the more you do it the better see I'm just waiting to initialize for our sensor That's interesting. There we go. Do one more restart, just for good measure. There you go, perfect. That's how it is. All right, now we just, uh, we got some funky movement going on in this blade. I wanted to check it out. over there see that okay this pin's not bad that pin over there is bad all right straighten it out set it down oh yeah uh, lift it up set it down yeah see there's movement in that pin what that's doing is that uh, basically, how I figured that out, you can hear it, but also, when I set this, this body to 1.5, 0.15, it actually reverted back to 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and that's the reason, because it, it's, it's throwing it off, and it's throwing off that sensor, that's, that's where the main fall is calculated, so, alright, nothing we can do with that, we just set it, so. We're just going to check this against their rover on their model and make sure it's cutting to where it's supposed to be cutting. All right, those are our numbers off the rover. Sitting over there on the right-hand corner. Oh, that doesn't matter. No, nope. okay. that's only for your offset for your cut. Okay. Um, go to tools, position check, right side, and measure. And let's see how close we are. So 28060, on elevation. Beautiful, that's like 100s. The machine is 100s high on the right hand side, which is nothing. Uh, we are two feet off north and dead on east. Uh, three tenths off east, but two feet off north is an issue. So that's gonna cause me to uh, remeasure this equipment real quick here and determine why what's causing that north and their poles their seals a little bit loose but not that much you see it doesn't move a whole lot all right remeasure all right we got some new measurements let's check these out real quick see what's causing this north to be funny um, let's get out of there go into our machine setup machine file I did. I told you to do something. There you go. Uh, I'm going to edit this. Change the date. 11 dash. Is it 3? Dash 21. That's close, I guess. Uh, middle of blade, yes. Yes. Alright, so number one, this is for the sensor. And I got the sensor at 2.71 off the ground. That's 2.78. That's enough for me to change. 
um, and we have number two distance from right corner of the blade I have 9.43 that was enough to change. Um, number three, distance behind from cutting edge, got 1.41. And this is just a matter of cutting edge. All these cutting edges changed, most likely. Uh, center of rotation, number four. Center of blade, my blade is 12.06, which is 6.03. That's close. All right, and wow, that is wrong. Look at that, center of rotation above. So, see that right there? It's saying 4.20. I'm gonna show you exactly what that measurement is. Watch this. Could that do it? Yes, it could. Center of rotation is right here. See that pivot point for the blade? Right to that dirt fitting? If you go down, you're only gonna be a foot. This one I'm gonna say 1.06. All right, and that's at 4.20 feet. Oh, oh, oh. wow. All right, next. That was a big one. All right, so let me do these, seeing that, uh, you know, we're here. I'll retake. All right, I just retook those measurements. Number one, uh, as you see, uh, center wheel to center wheel, basically 8.66 is what I got. That was close. But look at this one. I got... That's blade square to the machine, okay, on both sides, which looks a little funky to me, but I have to go off of that. I got 4.86. Here's your antenna. All right, so we got 10.74. We got uh, number two is how far in off I got 6.03 that's close behind number three I got 0 0.15 that's a difference of three tenths and it's not negative negative would be going the opposite way this would have never been a negative there's no way that could have been a negative if it was bent, it'd be obvious, but there's no way that could have been a negative. So it's always a positive. Whatever it says here to do, to measure where to measure, is a positive. Anything opposite these lines would be a negative. All right, so width of the blade, I got 12.06. That's close. That's it. All right, we'll let that cook for a second. Put that... Uh, that rover back on that spot and measure. All right, let's reshoot this spot. As you see, the cutting edge comes straight to the center of this pole. Comes even with the bottom of the cutting edge. We'll reshoot. And that's our new measurement right there. That should be true. That north and east should be good. I'll take a photo of this and go up and check. All right, that looks good to me. We are like tight. I'll just have to bump the elevation up just a couple hundreds and should be All right, we're just two hundreds high on the machine on that right side, which is good. I'm a All right, we'll reshoot, uh, not reshoot, but shoot the left side and see where that falls. Put this on left side, measure. Measure again, just for a good order. Make sure it's roughly the same. Measure again. Okay. So, I got 400s difference here, which I can bump it down to touch. We're good east, and we're good north. All right, so 
Let me just bump this down just a touch because we're, what, two hundredths high on the right. All right, that's it. It's done. Completely good. Uh, except for the pin movement up in the blade, so, uh, and I can't find a GPS problem. That was the original call, was uh, GPS keeps dropping. I've been sitting here for about an hour, have not seen it drop once. Uh, we did put an update in there, so um, hopefully that was the issue. And I checked out all their cables, they all seem fine. I checked out the antenna, it seems fine. Um, so, uh, who knows? Uh, this one can go back to work.